Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about degrees, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do is make sense of what this is all about and do a couple of examples together to convert back and forth between just having a measurement in degrees and having a measurement in both degrees, minutes, um, and also in seconds. So the idea, first of all, is that imagine, um, imagine we had the full 100, 360 degrees circle. Now I am describing this turning, this angle right here, as 360 degrees, right? But one degree is a really small amount of a turn. So within that one degree, we consider 60 minutes. So imagine inside one degree, there are a full 60 minutes, which is usually um, notated with a little dash. So that means every degree has 60 minutes. And then inside, this is even crazier, each of those minutes is another 60 seconds. So I'm going to write that down, down here. One minute also is the same as 60 seconds. So inside one degree are 60 minutes, and each of those minutes has 60 seconds. That means if I'm at one degree, I have 60 minutes, each with 60 seconds, I have 60 times 60, or 3,600 seconds for every degree. And what this allows us to do is have a lot of precision uh, with our direction. All right, this comes up in all kinds of measurements. You'll see it around. Um, so what we're going to do is some basic conversion so you can see how this works. So imagine, for example, I'm going to write those ratios again. Every degree has 60 minutes, and every second, uh, every minute, excuse me, has 60 seconds. So you might be given some measurements, like 45.5 degrees. And you're asked to convert that to degrees, but also to minutes and seconds if it's possible. So in this case, we have 45 degrees, right? And then we have a half of a degree. Well, if one degree up here, you have one degree is 60 minutes, what is a half of a degree? Well, it's half of 60, right? Or 60 times 1 half. And that is going to be 60 times 1 half is 30. So it's 45 degrees and 30 minutes. And all I did to get that 30 was take this 0.5 right here and multiply it by 60. And that really is the algorithm we need. You take the decimal part of your degree measurement and multiply by 60. So if you have 90.25 degrees, OK, what's that de in degrees and in minutes? Well, it's 90 degrees and then well, 0.25 of a degree is a fourth of a degree, so it's a fourth of 60 minutes. And that is 0.25 times 60, or just take 60 divided by 4, and you get 15. So that's 15 minutes. And again, we, you know, we use 60. It's such a friendly choice. It's where the origin kind of comes from. Uh, it divides so well by so many things. One more example. Imagine you had, and then we'll do uh, tougher ones that involve a calculator, I think. So I have you 103 fifths of a degree. Let's do the last conversion. What would that be in degrees? Well, it's definitely 100 degrees. And then it's 3 fifths of 60. So 3 fifths times 60. Now, I'm thinking uh, I'm going to find 1 fifth of 60 first. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. And then 12 times 3 is 36. So it's 36 minutes. Now. Notice we didn't use seconds at all in these conversions. So let's look at some examples of that. Imagine you had another one. We'll turn my page here. Okay, there's my example. It had 143.27 degrees. Now this is a degree measurement, and we want to get to degrees, minutes, and seconds. And our ratios again, one degree has 60 minutes, and one minute equals 60 seconds. And we're trying to use that to convert. So we kind of repeat the same process. I'm going to start with 143. That's our whole part. 143 degrees. Now, the issue here is that our fractional part, 0.27. If we do 0.27 times 60, what we get, I believe I wrote this down, <laughs> is, oh, there it is, 16.2. So 16.2 minutes. What's different here is that we have a decimal piece, this 0.2. And what we could do is break that down into seconds. So we have 143 degrees, 16 whole minutes in that remainder of a degree. And then this is a 0.2. So it's 0.2 times 60 again, because there are 60 seconds in each minute. And if we do that calculation, I believe we get 12. 
right? One tenth of 60 is 6, 2 tenths is 12. And that's our final answer. Now, in the reverse, in all of these problems, we've been multiplying by 60. So if you start off in uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds, so here's a tougher example. We have 19 degrees, 19 minutes, and 30 seconds, and we want to get to degrees. Well, instead of multiplying by 60 over and over again, we're going to be dividing by 60. So our first conversion, I'm going to leave the degrees and alone. But this 30 right here, that's 30 seconds. It's one half of a minute. And I know that because 30 divided by 60 equals one half. So this is actually a half of a minute. And I can combine that with the 19 minutes I have over here to 19.5 minutes. OK, so we use that 30 divided by 60. And that combines with the minutes. And then do that again. We have over here 19.5 minutes. And I want to know how many degrees is that. Um, so I want to do 19.5, right? It's out of 60. 60 is one full degree. Divide those two, and I would use a calculator for that. And I believe what we get is 129.325 degrees. And I think um, what I want you to take away from this, a couple of things. Um, I want you to take away that no matter what, when we're converting between uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds, we're using 60 either once for minutes or twice for seconds. And when we're converting into degrees, minutes, and seconds, we're multiplying by 60 going this way. But in the opposite direction, in this case, we start in the opposite direction, we started the degrees, minutes, and seconds. If we're trying to convert to degrees, we're dividing by 60. So I'm going to finish by writing that for you. So from degrees, not with the yellow, Sean, from degrees, we start there, and we're going to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Sorry about my handwriting. <laughs> we're multiplying by 60 over and over again. If we start with degrees, minutes, and seconds, and we're trying to get back to degrees in the other direction, right? we're dividing by 60 over and over again. So I hope this helps. Um, and maybe in other videos, I have a chance to talk about why 60, other than just being a convenient uh, choice of so many factors. So there's some history there with uh, the Babylonians that we could talk about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.